This is Google Weeds. It's a brand new AI powered video creation tool. And today I'm going to show you guys how you can use it. So let's get started. So first thing we're going to do is click sign into Wits. Once you log in, next you're going to see a screen that says record, upload, template or convert your presentation into videos or you can go for a blank width we're gonna go and select a template and over here you can see that we have a bunch of different templates that we can play around with to get the ball rolling so we're gonna get started with a blank video so i can talk you through all the features so first thing i'm gonna do is go over here and change the title so i'm gonna write a title of this video which is bali vacation and over here we also have the record button so if you want to record a video of you talking about your bali experience you can do that by clicking the camera button over here you can also click camera and screen and that way you can record your audio while doing a regular screen recording then you have the upload tab over here and this is what you can use if you want to upload your video and your assets from your drive and this is actually really helpful because if you are a organization that works specifically in the google workspace you already have those assets located in your drive so you don't have to like download it and re-upload it to a certain software everything's kind of integrated together so you can just plug and play uh, an image or like a photo that you want and kind of place it over here next we have the stock footage option over here and this is what you can use if you want to add interesting and cool video clips uh, to make your project look more interesting so we're gonna go and search for some cool videos of bali and we're gonna try and place them and i'm just gonna scroll it so it kind of takes up the whole screen and this is what you can use to play and preview um, to see what your video looks like so we're gonna keep this frame for now and we have this editor tool over here and this is very similar to iMovie if you have seen that so you can kind of take that bar and scroll around uh, like so so you can only visualize a certain aspect of the video so i want to keep just like five seconds of this clip and then in the next video i want to add like a different section so i'm gonna click the plus icon over here and add another frame and then go back to the stock footage and kind of take another scenery from there so i'm going to add this image over here and you have the sound option uh here so when you click that you can adjust the volume uh you can also adjust the audio transitions and things like that you also have format options and this is what you can use if you want to add like a uh, drop shadow to your video to make it more interesting if you want to position it on right left or, or any other way or if you want to manage the rotation and things like that so next you have the text option over here and this is what you can use if you want to add interesting text to your video so we're going to add this option over here and i'm going to name this as bali next you have the shapes option over here and this is what you can use if you want to add interesting shapes to your video to make it look more fun and dynamic so i'm going to add this little heart emoji like that kind of place it kind of in the center and then i'm going to click this icon over here and add a color to it so we're going to add like a nice blue color like that so that's great next you have the template option and again if you want to pull a certain template uh, you can always do that it makes your work uh, way more easier and a lot more time saving so i'm going to add another frame and i'm going to try and take this template and if there is a certain scene that i really like i can take that and kind of integrate it over here and then I can go in, make edits and play around with the settings, with the text and things like that. So next I want to work with the transition setting. And when you click add transition button over here, you have like different transitions that you can play around with. We got this fade transition, we got this scaling transition and a spinning transition and all of that fun stuff. We're going to do a dissolve transition because that's the most cleanest that it looks on my video and we can also set the duration of these transitions like so okay so the next thing i want to do is add music to kind of wrap up my video so i'm gonna click stock and i'm gonna go over here and you're gonna go and select music you also have sound effects and gifs that you can add to the video but we're gonna stick to music and over here you're gonna see a bunch of music that you can play and test to see the one that you like so for this example i'm gonna go for this track over here and as you can see that it has been inserted 
into our video so i'm just gonna play and preview it okay so this is great and if you want to scroll and use only certain section of the music you can do that by using this curler uh selecting only the music that you would like to add and then towards the end i'm gonna delete this frame so then i'm gonna click the sound button over here and you can adjust the volume so if you want this music to be slightly so uh, slower especially if you have like a voiceover you can play around with the settings over here so then you have the share button so you can copy this link and share it to any of your team members um, so that they can preview it and if you want to see how this video turns out to be in real time you can click play over here you get a full preview of the video you can also take this video and kind of move it across your google drive folders um, to keep it organized the other thing that you can do is click the file button over here and click download as mp4 and that's it that's how you can create a video using google bits i hope you guys found this video helpful we're going to do a separate video where we focus strictly on their ai features so stay tuned for that and yeah, I'll see you in my next one. Till then, take care. Bye.